All right, here it comes. Everybody does this differently. I was taught a very long time ago on how do you cut a piece of wood for this purpose. Then it wasn't an oak tree, it was an apple tree in those days. And what I try to do is, I'm left-handed. This is my left hand, yes? Left-handed. Here's the stalk, excuse me, here's the sign piece, okay? You don't hold it, I don't, hold it out here like this and pull it. Because remember that, that thing about the, the, the cell walls that you just killed? And you want, then the ones right next to it, they're going, <laughs> if you wind up by the, the way, as the British like to say, the carpentry of how do you put two pieces of wood together to make a new tree. If the carpentry is not right because your technique is poor, frankly, you're going to have not a nice smooth surface like this, like the top of this table. It's going to be bumpy. Okay? And if it's bumpy, you're going to have airspace, airspace, airspace in between the cyan piece and the stalk. And if that happens, you're going to you just throw it away. Because those cute little <laughs> cells, they're going to die. Because they're going to dry out. So you have to have some technique. Excuse me. And so the way I was taught, you have the base of the blade, you have the tip of the blade, okay? Now you can, if you want, pull the, I don't, okay, this is what I do. Here, here it is, this is how I do it. I don't move the sign piece at all. I just move my left hand. Everybody does it different. I'm just showing you how I do it, okay? I can go like this, and as I pull, I'll start to pull off a, a little chip, a little wood chip off of this piece of sign wood that we want. If I go like this, orient it this way, so it's a right angle, okay, which many, many people do. What will happen is, if you do 100 of these or 200 of these in a day, by the time you do it, number one, you're, you're, gonna, you're not going to be able to have a nice tabletop smooth cut surface. Okay? So what I do is, because I was taught, you start here, where my finger is, right there, start there, and you in there. Okay? So what I'm going to do is, I have, I'm going to leave two buds. Here's one, there's two. Okay? Two, two cute little buds right there. I'm going to, at the bottom one, the basal one, I'm going to cut on this side of it, and I'm going to cut on that side of it, if I do it right. And what I'm going to do, as a result, I'm going to have this long wedge shape. Long. It can be, you know, basically long as that, okay, or longer. And then, ha, 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 here comes the trick. You, on a, the, on the stock, you cut a correspondingly same length and same, ha, ha, here it comes, width on the stock as you have just made this, okay? That's in a perfect world. We'll see what happens because, of course, I'm now... You know, I have an audience, so it's always harder to do when you have an audience. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start like this. See how, see what the, what the rakish angle that I have here, okay? Also, remember, okay, I'm left-handed, yes? Grafting eyes. This side, the side towards the, the piece you're cutting, it's flat. There's no bevel. Where's the bevel? It's on this side, where the chip is going to go, okay? So that's why I can't use a right-handed knife. Because I use a right-handed knife, the bevel's on the wrong side. Instead of going it nice and smooth, what's going to happen is I'm going to go, the knife is going to go like that. That's why you can't use, a lefty can't use a righty knife, or vice versa. At least that's how I was taught. All right, enough of talking. Let's do it. So I'm going to start here. There goes the chip. If I sat or did a right-handed knife, Oh, it could go badly on my shirt, okay? Get the idea? So I've cut, there's the, there's the, the bud I want. I cut not underneath that bud. This is something that, this is what I do. Makes sense to me. Do you have vascular connections, if you will, traces that are supporting the growth of that bud? Yeah, and if you're gonna cut all right underneath it, which a lot of people do, you're rupture, you, you're, it's making it harder for that sign to, to do what it has to do in my humble opinion. So I cut on one side, flip it around 180 degrees, so the bud is now facing the floor, I do it again. 
something like that. Put the knife down in a safe place. Your fingers are always dirty. They are always oily. Okay? Do not touch the cut surfaces with your fingers. You can run above it. That's perfect. Now, let's see. What happened to my... There it is. I'm going to, because I have availability here, there's a cyan piece. I'm going to put it in my hand. So you have this long wedge. Flip it over. There's another long wedge. When I made the cut, it's not like this. It's smooth as a countertop. Okay? It, it's, it looks easy, and it is easy, but it just takes a little practice. So what do I do now? Trust me. I, it's hard to, to talk about this and do it at the same time. So what I'm going to do, because my hands are dirty, oily, the countertop is dirty, it's always dirty, okay? I'm going to put this right up here. Why am I doing that? To get it out of the way, okay? I'm not putting it in my mouth, I'm just putting, I'm not putting the cut surfaces in my mouth at all. It's the other part. This is where I would work really fast if I wasn't talking to you right now, okay? So here comes the next step. So I cut the cyan piece. Here it goes again. This is what I have to do. I have to look at it. Okay, it's about so long. It's always, you know, do I get them both on the same length, same side? You know, both sides the same length? Never. It never happens. At least it doesn't for me. So now what do we do? Same story. You start here. You end there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ha 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 cut. It's a nice, oh my goodness, isn't it nice? It's so straight. It's not crooked. Okay. I'm going to start up here. And as I go down, I'm going to pull the knife to my left. Does that make sense? About like that. Okay. So I have a, I'll call it a tongue on here. And since this is just a demonstration practice thing, I would do this really as fast as I possibly could because I don't want this to dry out. It's already dried out. But for purposes of the demo, we'll do it this way. So what do I do next? Usually there's always one side that's longer because I didn't cut it right. Put the long side against the stock. So and that's not too bad. Remember also that the sign that the that the I'm from Massachusetts, so I have trouble saying certain words. The bark, B-A-R-K, the bark, okay, on the cyan piece can many times be thinner than the stalk. Okay? What we're trying to do is we're trying to line up the cambio layer of the, both these two pieces in such a fashion that they can quote unquote knit together very rapidly like we talked about. Okay? So that's, that's kind of what we're about here. I'm almost done, I think. Next thing I'm going to do, because it's too long for me, and the height of the table is too tall for me, but for now, we're going to go like so. This is how I was taught. Many people, instead of starting at the top of a cut surface between the sign and the stalk, They'll start at the bottom and work up. Doesn't matter. The idea is to, and I, I'm doing this slowly, can you guess? But you go down, wrap it around like a helix, okay? I didn't do that on purpose. The, my, I learned how to do this, uh, in, as I mentioned, in Massachusetts a long time ago, long time ago. And my father was the one who taught me. And uh, I said, Dad, I said, uh, when it comes to this grafting bit and the rubber bands that we're messing with, like I am right now, still doing it, uh, I said, how hard can you pull those rubber bands? How hard should I pull them? Remember, you want to put those two layers right in intimate contact, OK? And he said, pull them until they break. I said, really? He said, yeah. And, and said, many people don't do that. So, okay, so I've wrapped it around. Down, 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 down. Now, this is how I was taught. Two fingers. I'm still left-handed, right? 
So, so, pull, shazam, done, okay? Next, remember this, this tape material? And tape, you can see it there. What I do, it, it, you pull it. If you pull it too much, you're gonna break it, obviously. But what I do is I wrap the whole thing, the whole cyan piece, making sure all of the surfaces are covered. And you can cover the, these cut surfaces, especially down here where the union is gonna be, we hope. You can cover it with one layer, you can cover it with 16 layers. I'm exaggerating, but it doesn't really matter, okay? Same thing for the buds that we talked about, these cute little buds. I left on two of them because I had opportunities to do that. If I get really desperate, I'll just use one. But I'd rather not because they don't always, not all, not in a situation like this, not both of them will break, only one will. So, and you just keep going down, down, whoop, whoop, hang on. Keep going down until you are sure that you have covered all of the cut surfaces. And then you just kind of pull it off. That's that. Back to the magic label, 2951, right? And today is, for us, the 13th of April, 2022. Why do I put the date on there? This is what we call a, this architecture. It's called, a, you know, it's a very original name. Modified side graft is what it is, okay? And in 10 days, don't ask me why it's 10 days, just take it on faith. How I was taught, 10 days, you come along, and you, whether the bud is broken or not, okay? You come along, and then you just cut it off. The, the stalk, to help force the, the one, or we hope both, of those shoots to, to develop. So I just would go like that, that's it. So that's one way of doing it. There's another way, but we'll talk about that in just a second. Mm -hmm.